Testing, 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 yes we are. La 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 la. Hello YouTube. Uh, today I wanted to make a quick video, at least I hope it's quick, on how to get a tractor to record with OBS because I wanted to make a YouTube video um, with tractor and was banging my head against the wall for at least a week trying to figure out how to get OBS to capture the audio. So, um, first thing you're going to need is an app called ASIO Link Pro. Now, this used to be a pay app, but um, unfortunately, the, the it had a single developer, and he passed away, and his family requested folks come up with patchers so that people could continue to use the software, um, and it could, you know, live on after him. So, uh, if you want to find that, I'm going to put the link in the description of the video, and the first thing you're going to do is install it. And since this is going to be the demo version, it's going to have drops in the audio. So then you'll install the two patchers. You need to install both of them. Uh, the one problem I ran into is I didn't realize you have to actually find the ASIO Link Pro EXE in your program files and install the 64 uh, crack um, and where the 64 EXE is and the not 64 for where that where the regular exe is um so that's the main thing you're going to do and then i'm going to show you how to set it up so uh first thing i'm going to do is go ahead and open up tractor let's see around here so tractor uh, it went over here to my other monitor so i'll bring it over this way and then also what opens up is ASIO Link Pro because I've already got it set up. But when you install ASIO Link Pro, you're going to want to copy this setup and it should work for you. Um, I actually copied this from another YouTube video. Uh, and if I can remember where I got it from, I'll link it in the description as well. But it wasn't about Tractor, so it's not going to be too useful for you. Um, so here's a close up. Just in case that helps, that's the whole thing. I'll zoom back out again in case it's easy for you to see that way. And then you can go up here and do minimize. All right, so when you first install it and run it, um, let me show you what it looks like when you run it because that might be useful. So it opens up and then it opens up another thing here. Now, so when you first run it, um, this is what you're going to see. And you can hit Start SEO. But when you, once you have it set up in Tractor, you're not ever going to need to manually open it. So do not click Start with Windows. That will cause it to take over your audio device automatically, which you only want it to do when it runs Tractor. So don't check that. And you can do start minimized and start ASIO and that's fine. So I'm going to close out of that and close out of this because that's not the one that I needed. And um, so once you have those installed, then you're going to go to your preferences and then audio setup and tractor and make sure that your audio device is set to ASIO Link Pro, sample rates, whatever you want. And now for your built-in sound card, I don't have my own ASIO driver. Well, on this on this Realtek card, I don't anyway. So I use ASIO for all. But if not, you just pick whatever uh, your sound your sound device is, um, and then hit close on that. Um, and then in OBS, and I have another copy of OBS open here. There we go, so that you could see my tractor setup. So in here, you're going to have, um, I deleted this ASIO input capture. This is not necessary, but it came back. So you're going to have audio input capture, and you're going to want to choose the Mix1 um, ASIO driver. And then that's where you're going to get your sound from. Um, yes, discard. 
So now, if I grab my DJ controller, and so we're going to put this here, and this here, and then with any luck, we'll get some sound. Now notice down at the bottom, you see that red message? Yeah, that seems to happen when you're scratching, but only when you're using Astro Link Pro. And it doesn't seem to actually affect the functionality at all. Let me stop this. There's one other place that you'll see a warning, which is up here, which I disabled by going to Preference, and then Global Settings, and then Disable Enable Deck Header Warnings. And that way you don't get the, the error in two different places up here where your song is and down here in the status bar. You'll only see it down here and it, I don't think it affects anything at all, so I wouldn't worry about it. I hope I've covered everything. I think I did, but you know, I'm here. So if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. Hopefully I didn't leave anything out and hopefully it's helpful. I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm just learning. Anyway, thanks for watching.